Coifin offers great charting tools for fundamentals and technicals. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Coifin for charts. Hi guys, this is Dean from Pervasives, where we publish economic sector and industry data. Learn more at pervasives.com. Today, I'm just going to show you the Coifin charting tools, um, which is very useful for mm -hmm. fundamentals as well as technicals. It's a little bit different than other charting uh, tools like TradingView, who I think focuses a bit too much on technicals. So the first thing you should note when you go to the Coifin charts section is down at the bottom there for graphs and you have three options. So you have the historical graph, the intraday graph and the performance graph. So the historical graph gives you a, by default, a candles, candlestick uh, chart where you can use templates, which I will show you. Then you have the intraday, which is the one day chart. And then you have, but you don't have templates. And then you have the performance, which is displayed in percentages, which uh, it's something I use uh, more um, when I want to compare different securities together. For example, if you put in uh, another, so we're on Goldman Sachs, let's put in Wells Fargo to see the difference in performance. So over one year, it's um, pretty much the same. Um, one month, three months, six months. So uh, this is the performance uh, graph. Let's go back to the historical graph. So in the historical graph, if we go over the basic settings, you can edit how it's displayed. Here you can take off the label at the top. Uh, here you can change the font. You can change um, the legend. So if you don't want the ticker here, can remove that security name date series label okay it's not showing anything for this one price value okay then you could change the way it's displayed here so for example you can change it like this or like this or like this or even no label let's go back to this one um, you can uh, remove the crosshair like this by clicking here or uh, showing value so you see it showing the value when you hover over access grouping if you have um, for example two securities it's going to be displayed in the same uh, scale and you can change log or linear so logarithmic is basically as you can see the 430 here uh, to 340 is this over here the scale is not different than down here but if I change to linear it is just the same scale see the 430 has disappeared above that's the basic settings then if we go back to the uh, side panel of the graphs what's important there is you have templates so for example I saved my fundamentals template. So you see, I have lots of stuff dumped in there and I can, I have added more than it's displayed. So for example, the PE, I hide it. It's down at the bottom there. Revenues, I can hide. CapEx can hide. No, it's show, sorry. The gross profit can hide. Let's put them back in. So I have the price overlaid with some two fundamental data points, the revenue and the gross profit, and then the um, estimated revenue, which is here for the next 12 months. If I remove that, I can add in the short interest. You can separate it at the bottom. You can move it up or down, or you can here, if you click here, you can add it in to the same chart. So let's 
remove it and hide it. Correlation. This is very useful. So if I go to the settings and there you choose a ticker. So I think it was already Wells Fargo. But um, yeah. So. Oh, well, it disappeared there. Let's do it again. Correlation. And we're gonna, so now it's correlated to the SPY and it's close to one, as you can see. But I can change that and put in uh, Wells Fargo WFC. And you can see it's correlated at 0 0.7. Six. So if you're doing pair tradings, hedging, the correlation feature is really useful. So let's hide it for now. I like to have it there, but have it hidden so I can uh, pull it when I need it. Um, net debt, pretty straightforward. You see, I just pulled up a lot of indicators. I can change them. I can uh, add them, remove them. And the point is then you can save save as current template. Okay. Or you can even have the auto save feature on. Then if I go back to templates, um, I can edit these templates, remove them, or I can go to, for example, I have a technicals template. And there, as you can see, I'm not very uh, big into technicals. So I've just put in, uh, a SMA simple moving average for 10 days for 20 days and for 50 days I have the RSI at the bottom in orange and I have the volume and if we hide the labels we can see it a little bit clearer you can also change the uh, grid type um, in the settings I can put the grid to uh, a little bit of more gray in the background like this and yeah um, pretty straightforward for your technicals so it's great because I can bounce between fundamentals I'm just gonna save this yeah save and then go back to fundamentals it's there as you can see there are some I have some Fibonacci levels there so for example if I am on this chart I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna do I want to see the percentages I can as you can see it's attaching itself to the graph and then I can attach myself to the trough and I can see that there it was minus 42 percent I can add Fibonacci levels again there are pegging to the chart so that you can attach themselves there or there or even there or there and pretty useful that way and then I have my Fibonacci levels um, I can add a value label so if I go to this point here I want to know the price and there I can move it like this I have the label right there of the price at that date you can add lines channels like so Pretty, pretty useful as well. I can undo and um, you can remove this and this so it, it's not, I don't have the crosshair and the hover over. And the point is when I go to back to my technicals and then going back to the fundamentals it's still saved there even if I change uh, let's say I uh, also I'll, ch I'll show you I have my notes there so if I have notes in pertaining to Goldman Sachs blah 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 blah, blah. I can add a table with the financials and okay I go to another company let's say like Microsoft the fundamentals chart on that company that template as you can see there I have the same template but I have different overlays 
which I added is specific to Microsoft. I go back and then if I go to notes, I have the notes specific to Microsoft. These are all example notes, okay? I go back to GS, boom, I still have my uh, labels, my overlays I've added um, pertaining to Goldman Sachs. There are a few others um, templates that are as uh, built in by Coifin, for example, this one, EPS estimates. Um, you have the price target here, correlation beta, but I already show you the, the correlation, pretty useful there. Um, also the beta, that's pretty good. Revenue and growth. Like so. Revenue, net income, and margins for GS. And we're back to technicals. How can pervasives help you? Two ways. Number one, pervasives provides sector and industry short term economic data that helps you discover untapped opportunities around the globe. You can access industry and sector economic data that we collect, compile and process. You can browse the data for free or sign up to the pro version to get everything. Number two, your local accountant will run away scared when you mention foreign stocks. Most accountants are focused on a single region and this can lead to the wrong advice. We can help you with your tax, legal and accounting needs. We provide expertise on international equity tax strategies and global brokerage options. We work with retail traders and investors to diversify their portfolios.